A simple lunch today and I totally forgot that I actually had a whole sandwich in the fridge. Oh well, um, but I do have some updates for you guys. I am telling my senior manager that I'm quitting my job today. I'm putting in my notice a little early because our teams are all going through a lot of planning phases for the upcoming like, interim year-end period and there's been a lot of discussion on like who's assigned to what section document allocations and you know how many hours they'll need to you know book for who and i feel bad that they're all scheduling and planning this stuff when in reality i don't plan to be here for the near future so i'm gonna just tell them um early on my plan is to stick around for Q3 filing. We have our Q3 kickoff coming up fairly soon and I'm just going to finish that up and then quit. So I won't be doing interim work, I won't be doing year-end work. I decided to quit my job because I've just been so burnt out from this past year. I think it was too much for me. And it's not even just simply work-related, like I'm not burnt out from my corporate job specifically it plays a part in it but it's just wedding planning buying a home renovating the home getting a new puppy moving to a new city and at the same time like working my day job which it is a pretty time consuming job and then also doing social media things after hours i think just i have not been able to take a break for months and now that things are finally slowing down like i've we're done with the house we're done with wedding we're done with a lot of things and i think it finally just caught up to me and i felt really overwhelmed um i felt really burnt out and even though i have all this time now i have lost like all motivation to do anything and uh, i think it's just time for me to go so at first i was thinking about trying to find a job so that i could quit but I don't want to rush into a second job just for the reason to have a reason to quit so i decided i'm going to quit and then take a break and then start looking for a job slowly uh, maybe i don't know how long the break is going to be maybe a couple weeks maybe a couple months i'm not sure um but i don't want to rush into anything and i really want to think about what i want to do next my thinking right now uh, we'll see if things change is that I want to stay in the accounting finance industry but even within that there's so many different things that you can do and i don't know exactly what i want to get myself into whether it's just going into industry and being like a senior accountant or whatever or i can go into like risk i can go into reporting i can go into finance or do something completely different altogether i have had no time to think about next steps because i've life has just been too crazy so that is my plan and i'm going to have that conversation with my senior manager in a few hours i'm also in training this week and so oh shoot i got three minutes i gotta go back to training this is supposed to be my 30 minute lunch but i ended up just cooking and that took a long time and chatting with you guys so i'm gonna have to bring this food to my meeting i guess I haven't really talked about this before, but I think I've started working ever since I could at like 16. And then throughout college, I've always had a job. At one point I had two jobs and I was working 40 hours a week or 35 hours a week while being a full-time student. Um, and I just feel like I never gave myself a break because I just have that mindset of like not feeling secure um, if I'm not over-exerting myself. I decided 
I need to slow down, take a break, really think about like what I want to do, what I want to prioritize. <laughs> That's Ollie sleeping. Oh my god, he's dreaming. I don't know, I'm a little nervous. I'm really risk averse and I don't do risky things, especially when it comes to my financial stability. And so this is probably one of the riskiest things I've ever done in my life. I think right now I'm mostly excited, but I feel like once I do quit, I'm going to start feeling really nervous and anxious, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. In the middle of everything too, my, you know, I had that video about dealing with grief when my grandma from my dad's side passed away. My grandma from my mom's side also recently passed away like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I feel like that was also like another triggering moment where I decided, you know, I, I want to quit. Um, take some time off. Yeah, just crazy year, you know, crazy year. And I just need to take some time to process and relax a little bit for my own mental health. And don't know what that looks like for social media going forward. And a lot of you are here because of my job. Um, hope you stick around. If not, totally understand. Yeah, we'll see next steps. But once I do quit, I do plan on, you know, investing more time into my social media because I feel like I never gave it a chance. So I guess technically I'll be a full-time influencer for however long I decide to take a break. And I don't think it will be a permanent thing, but who knows, I'm not going to make any promises. But right now, currently, I do plan to find a job later in life. And I am late for my training. <laughs> and like what my thoughts are right now. Um, I'm planning to quit, but I'm planning to stick it through for Q3 filing and then quit like soon after. So I won't be here during like interim and year end. Um, I know there's a lot of planning happening right now. So I thought it'd be best just to let the team know beforehand because I know we're trying to do like all the allocations now um, just to like help you guys plan ahead too. I thought about that, but I feel like I wouldn't come back. So I think just leaving would be like the simplest be wondering where I am. I am actually in my sister's bedroom because this is the only room with a desk. So I am currently working from home. My mom completely changed my room to her like little vanity walk-in closet situation. So there's no desk in there. There's just like a dresser, makeup vanity, and a bed. So sleeping there but working here. Um, I am back in San Jose for like two days. Honestly, I'm here because of 
my orthodontist appointments. I'm almost done, so I didn't want to switch doctors or anything. I've been making monthly visits back at home for a little bit. And even though it kind of seems like a waste of time and a waste of money because I literally come for an appointment, I stay for like two days and then come back home. Um, it's been really nice because I can come back and see some of my family, some of my friends, and it's been, I think, helpful for my adjusting period down in Southern California. Just grab some coffee. I don't have my coffee gear here anymore, so every time I come to NorCal, I need to go out and actually buy coffee. Got my first holiday drink of the year. So good. This one is the toffee white chocolate mocha with half of the syrup because I don't want it too sweet, but it's it's pretty good. It's still pretty sweet. Another reason I'm here is because this is actually my last week working at my big four accounting job. I put in my, I gave like a three weeks notice, so I let everyone know three weeks in advance. And I told everyone I'm gonna stick around for our Q3 filing, and then afterwards I'll be done. So we filed yesterday on Monday, and so I have the rest of the week to just kind of wrap up things, train kind of the next person who will be taking over my sections in, you know, the engagement and just like helping people adjust and also just doing some offboarding things. This week is going to be pretty chill. Um, and it's kind of surreal that it is my last week working my 9 to 5. I'm actually going to see some of my coworkers today. We're having like a goodbye dinner for me, which is really sweet. Everyone keeps asking me what's next. But I really don't know. I'm just kind of going to go with it, which is really not like my personality. I'm very planned five years in advance and don't do anything risky. Really excited for this new chapter and hope you guys follow along. Um, I don't know what my life is going to look like. I don't know when I'm going to go back to work. I don't know what kind of work I'm going to look for after this. We'll just see what happens. And for now, I'm just going to enjoy my extended like holiday vacation, I guess. I do plan to take at least, at the bare minimum, the rest of the year off. So for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my life, I guess, as a YouTuber. <laughs> I should go back to work though. Today is Friday and it is officially my last day on this job ever. I This is my last day. My access is getting cut off in the evening and I'm done with my first full-time job after post-grad. It's kind of a work etiquette, at least in, in my firm, to send a mass goodbye email to all the people that you've worked with and want to thank. And so I've already drafted mine and I am getting ready to send it out to like over 50 people. Um, and it's crazy, when I was putting this list together, I was trying to think of every single person I've, you know, worked with in my career here, all the people that you know, I have memories with um, the people who have helped me, mentored me, and the number was quite high. Um, and there's also like a ton of people who have already left the firm who, you know, won't be getting this email, obviously, but have really impacted me and my career. I don't know, why am I nervous to send this email out? <laughs> Pressing send. Okay, it's done. Ah, I'm gonna go get lunch. Okay. I uh, sent my email out and I've been getting, you know, pings here and there from people like reaching out and saying, you know, good luck, goodbye. So just responding to those messages. Um, and I also have had 
this folder in my email inbox and I named it a smiley face and it was whenever someone said something nice or complimented me and my work or you know something that like was a feel-good moment for me I saved that email so that I could look back to when no, I was not feeling my job or if I felt the imposter syndrome kicking in and I've actually never looked back on it but I'm just taking a look through now maybe I can share some things with y'all um, some peers saw that I got early promoted and they sent some messages. I also got some really sweet messages from people who work at the same firm as me and have watched some of my YouTube videos and I don't remember if I responded to them. I think I pinged them individually but I've saved those emails on here because I thought it was really sweet. So this girl, Jenny, she was an intern at the time. I don't think she's working right now but this is really sweet happy tuesday i am a tax intern based in new york wishing you a happy marriage and life so sweet thank you jenny this was in my my feel good folder i'm going to officially log off for the last time ever i'm gonna clean out my computer make sure there's no information in here and then I'm actually shipping all of my gear back to the firm and that's that. I am officially done so. Let's see if I have any more last minute things and emails. having some last minute conversations and saying bye to people.